With the push of a lever, return to dig restores the bucket to a preset position. Bucket and fork attachments can be leveled from either the dump or curl position. Smoothing operation and helping reduce cycle times. Two return to dig settings can be programmed to any position through the sealed switch module, SSM. To adjust the return to dig setting, place the bucket in the desired position. Then press and hold the return to dig button until it beeps to store the position. Constant auxiliary flow hydraulics allow the operator to continuously run attachments without having to hold a lever or roller. Flow rate is adjustable for different attachments from the monitor. Throttle lock allows the operator to maintain engine speed without having to hold the throttle pedal. Throttle lock can be used to warm up a cold machine or to provide continuous hydraulic flow to an attachment. Throttle lock may also be convenient when transporting the machine and is deactivated when the brakes are engaged or a gear is changed. There are two auto shift settings. Auto 1D allows the transmission to automatically downshift to first gear and upshift to the maximum gear selected by the operator. Auto 2D downshifts to only second gear. This is useful in loose loading applications in which the rim pull of first gear is not needed to avoid spinning on soft ground. When using either setting, the transmission will default to starting and second gear. Use of the kickdown feature will always allow the transmission to shift to first gear, even in 2D. Quick shift functions as a transmission kickdown. Quick shift is useful when a lower gear is anticipated, such as for approaching a loading area or climbing a ramp. With quick shift, the operator can downshift gears faster, which improves load times. When equipped, the lockup torque converter will be enabled in gears 3 through 5, regardless of the SSM setting. The switch controls the lockup torque converter in second gear only. When performing load and carry or transport operations, it is recommended to always enable this feature. For V pattern loading operations, the lockup torque converter can be applied in second gear, which will alter machine rise run performance. It is recommended to turn off the lockup torque converter when operating in this application. For any type of load and carry or transport operation, it is recommended to turn this feature on. Clutch cutoff neutralizes the transmission when the operator places the transmission in gear and the service brake is applied, allowing the engine's power to be used for the hydraulic pumps. Ride control cushions the boom under heavy loads for a smoother ride. When operating over rough, unimproved surfaces, lower ride control speeds are recommended. Ride control can be turned off, turned on, or set to automatic mode. The feature shuts off at a preset speed, which is beneficial when digging in a pile or dumping into hoppers or trucks. Metering aggressiveness for boom and bucket functions can be adjusted. The operator can select between low, medium, and high for function aggressiveness. This does not change the speed of the function, only how quickly the function accelerates.